Hi guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to enable two-factor authentication on Activision. So if you've got an Activision account and you want to add a bit more security to it, then stay tuned to find out how to do that. And if this video does help you out today, please leave a like and drop a comment below. Uh, also, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials, how-tos and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. So to do this, first thing you're going to want to do is open up a browser and come across to activision.com. And once you get here, if you're not already, you just want to go ahead and log into your account. So once you're logged in, you're going to get taken to the home screen, which looks like this. And what you're going to want to do from here is come and click onto your profile. So if you come up to the top right hand corner and just go and click this profile button here. And from here, it's actually very simple to set up. What you're going to want to do is come to this menu on the left hand side. And if you go down to the bottom one, which says privacy and security, and then just give that a click. And you'll see the first uh, section that's going to come up. It says two-factor authentication, uh, authenticator app. So it says add a layer of protection to your account with two-factor authentication. A third-party authentication application, in this case it's Google Authenticator, is required to log in. Um, so after entering the email and password, you'll be prompted to enter your security code generated from the authentication app. So basically what it does is when you go to log in your account, uh, you'll log in as normal, you'll put your email address and password. But after you've clicked log in, what's going to happen is it's going to prompt you to enter a security code, which will be generated by Google Authenticator, which is actually uh, an app designed by Google. And that's going to generate a code for you to put in as an additional measure. So if anyone does know your email and password, they're not going to be able to use your account in this. Obviously, they've got access to the um, Google Authenticator to get the code as well. So to enable this, all you need to do is simply click the blue button here, which says enable two-factor authentication. And what they're going to do to start off with is send you a code to your email address. So what you're going to do is just basically go into your email address and grab that code. So I'm just going to do that now. So the code they send through, uh, don't worry if it doesn't come through straight away. Sometimes it takes a minute or two to come through. Um, obviously, if after five, 10 minutes, nothing's come through, then just go ahead and uh, request it again. But it should be a code that looks like this, a series of numbers and letters. Just bear in mind that it is cap sensitive. So make sure if there's any capital letters that you do them exactly as it is in the email. And then what you want to do from here is click the blue submit button underneath. And then what's going to happen, that's going to take you back to this screen here. Uh, so again, you just want to come to the privacy and security tab and then click on this blue uh, enable button again. And you'll see what's going to happen. It's going to come up with a screen like this. Uh, so what you need to do, you just need to follow the steps. So uh, what you want to do, obviously, is make sure you've got a Android device, like a um, Android smartphone or tablet. And you just want to follow the steps. So the first thing you want to do is download the Google Authenticator app. Uh, and then once you've downloaded the app, you basically open up the Authenticator app on your smartphone or tablet. Uh, tap the plus sign and what's going to happen, it will open up a camera for you to scan this uh, QR. It's called a QR code, it's like a barcode thing. Uh, make sure you keep this window open whilst you're doing all this. Uh, as you can see, it says a note closing this window before entering your authentication code will require you to reset up the, pro the authentication app. So you just want to do this all in one process, but basically once you scan that code there, uh, it's going to give you a code down here. So you would just basically put the code that comes up down here, and then you would enter your password like so. And then what's going to happen, that's going to go ahead and get that in place. So when you next log into your account, as I say, you put your email and password as normal, but it's then going to prompt you to enter a code. Uh, which will be generated by the Google Authenticator app. So obviously you would just go into the app, get the code, put that in, and that's just another line of security to help protect your account. 
So that's how you do it and I hope you did find that helpful. If that did help then please leave a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you do want to help support the Digital Tutor channel there is a link in the video description down below. If you go and give that a click you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.